A little kid walks onto a city bus and sits right behind the driver and starts yelling, If my dad was a bull and my mom a cow, I'd be a little bull. The driver starts getting mad at the noisy kid who continues with, If my dad was an elephant my mom was a girl elephant, I'd be a little elephant. The kid goes on with several animals until the bus driver gets angry and yells at the kid, What if your dad was gay and your mom was a prostitute? The kid smiles and said, Then I'd be a bus driver. Phil Coma here, bringing you episode 6 of A Prestigious Road. It's going to be kill confirmed on Bakura. I'm going to use custom class number 1, which is a Scar L with a red dot sight, FMG 9, Simtex and Congestion Grenade, Slide of Hand, Quick Draw, Marksman, Support Kill Streak for Recon Drone, Advanced UAV, and Stealth Bomber. Death Streak is juiced. I had a pretty decent game here. I really enjoyed playing it. This isn't one of my favorite maps, but I do go ahead and do pretty well. I go 6, 9, and 5, and we end up winning 65 to 12. There was only a couple of times that nobody picked up my tags, and I got denied killed uh, come across my screen. Uh, in fact, I, I only say that I saw that maybe three or four times. So our team did the job really, really well. And of course, looking at how low their score was, the enemy team was really, really disorganized and didn't seem to know what to do on this particular game type. As you can see in the beginning, I just wanted to try to get a couple kills with the turret mounted on a helicopter. Uh, I always enjoy getting those kills. And I do end up getting a couple, but I do die a couple of times as well. I think both times I die, I pick up my own tags. So you see the difference in score, the 50 to 250 for picking up your own kill deny. Now, of course, running the support kill streak, those two kills do go towards my kill streak total. I go ahead and get more traditional ways of kills as well. I jumped off that turret because it wasn't going to serve me really well in the long run. Now, I had a lot of fun playing this game. There were a couple of things and a couple of times that it got frustrated, and it was just mainly things that I was doing myself and mistakes that I made. I hope you enjoyed this game, and, and if you do wa enjoy watching, I ask that you rate, comment, subscribe, and uh, share with a friend if you don't mind. Now, uh, been seeing a lot of commentators here lately talk about Black Ops 2 leaks and rumors. I, I know this starts earlier and earlier every year, and we've been playing Modern Warfare 3 for about six months or so. But it, I'm not really enthusiastic over Black Ops 2 right now. I, I don't know if it was some of the stuff that happened to me during Black Ops, or that. Just overall, I am getting tired of the, the Call of Duty series, but there are a lot of other games that are coming out in the future that I'm a lot more excited about. Of course, one, uh, something that I started with and I started on the original Xbox getting into it was Halo, so I'm really looking forward to Halo 4 coming out this year. I'm hoping 343 will do a good job with it, and from what everything I've been hearing, I, I think they're going to. Just kind of want to talk about some of the different things that I've heard about Halo 4. One is that one of the main storylines is going to be dealing with Cortana. And I'm kind of interested in seeing what they're going to do with that character in particular. I hope they don't do anything too drastic or do anything that's going to be final over the last uh, couple of games in this trilogy. Now, that being said, I do think that they are working on the trilogy kind of like George Lucas did with Star Wars. I've heard that they've got all of the storyline written already, but I'm assuming that they've gotten it major plot lines written out. And what they're looking at now are more of the minute details, the little things that we're really going to be getting into when we start playing the game, and hopefully some of these things are not going to be leaked or discussed beforehand. There are some little surprises and things like that that I really want to find out in the game that I'm really not hoping to see any uh, spoilers or anything of that nature. Now, speaking of, of other games and things like that, I haven't been playing a whole lot of Modern Warfare 3 lately. Uh, I've said in my previous video that I am going to take a little break from Modern Warfare 3 and Call of Duty in general, and for the most part I've been doing that, I've, and frankly, I've been having a blast. I've been playing Battlefield 3 and Halo Reach mostly, and 
Halo Reach playing that, I, I've just realized how much that I've missed the Halo series. This is something, like I said before, that I started really playing console video games with Halo. And there's just something about the the storyline, the entire game, one thing or another with the Halo series that I just have not been able to replicate with Modern Warfare or Call of Duty or really any other game. The, the only game that I'd say that I've had this much fun playing here lately has probably been the Battlefield series. The Just something about the different way that it's played versus Modern Warfare, the different way that it's played against a Call of Duty series game. The, the Battlefield 3 games are, are just really, really fun. I think one thing that I will say that I've really enjoyed on Battlefield 3 are some of the vehicles. I have been playing with the tanks and some of the jets just on and off and the the jets are it's a little aggravating getting into playing with some of the jets and things like that because you've got so many people that just camp on uh, getting a jet or I was playing the other day and there was somebody that was literally parked just off to the side so anytime that somebody got into a plane they already shot it up and destroyed it so that was kind of a bummer but for the most part it, it's it's really really fun and halo reach like i said it's just the it, it's going back to my roots sort of sort of thing and, and i think that everybody who has played certain games that they got started on uh i think you're always going to have that that deal uh you know, it's the same thing with Call of Duty and Battlefield or Xbox versus PlayStation. I think if you get your start on the Xbox, you're going to like that controller better. You're going to like the Xbox better than the PlayStation in most cases. And it's the same thing, you know, on the PlayStation side. If you play with the PlayStation controller, you're going to like the PlayStation better. Um, but, you know, that that is what it is. So, the been having a blast with it. I'm hoping to get up some videos on Halo Reach here in the next couple days, and I really hope that you enjoy them as much as I enjoy playing. And we're coming up to the end of this video. We're, like I said, coming up 61, 62 to 12 right now. Uh, just mopping up, really, because this game, 65 to 12, that's, I mean, we just own these for whatever reason so great teamwork whatever it is there you go 65 12 i go 16 9 and 5 just like i said i hope you've enjoyed the video if you have please rate comment subscribe uh, it means a lot to me and it means a lot that you're taking this time to watch the video i uh, hope you all have a great day and we'll talk to you later